I seriously feel like the luckiest flight attendant ever. Good morning, everyone. It is currently 2.53 a.m. Yep, it is pretty dang early in the morning. I picked up this trip super last minute. I actually picked it up at midnight and then I packed and slept for about an hour and a half. And now I'm awake and getting ready to go on the trip. And it looks like a few people, hi Luna, are already awake this morning to help me get ready for my trip. Good morning. Um, what are you doing in here? Making breakfast. Making me breakfast. Thank you. Luna's excited that everyone's up. <laughs> She's like, let's go outside and play frisbee. My suitcase is almost all packed up and ready to go. It's now 3.31 a.m. I need to leave in about 10 minutes. And you guys, I don't know what I did to deserve Eric. I am just the luckiest girl in the world. He made me little breakfast tacos right here. So I'm going to put them in this container so I can heat them up on the plane in the oven. And then I'm going to make some coffee and be on my way to the airport. It's now 3.41 a.m. So I have about five minutes until I absolutely have to be out the door. Goodbye, Luna. Are you gonna go back to bed? Just got to the airport, it is 4.10 a.m. My sign-in is at 4.30. We are here with plenty of time before I need to be in the terminal. Today, we are working three flights. Our first flight is from Dallas to Miami, and then we fly from Miami to Kingston, Jamaica. And I don't even think we're going to get off the plane because we turn around and come right back to Miami from Kingston for the third flight of the day. And we are actually deadheading on that flight, which means we are still considered working crew, but we do get to fly as passengers. You definitely don't expect many people to be here early in the morning, but I always forget how quiet and empty it is this early. I mean, it's not even 5 a.m. yet. I am almost to the elevator now, so let's have a really good day. Just got into the airport. I'm currently in the A terminal and my first flight to Miami is going out of the C terminal. So I'm going to take the Skylink over and then we will be ready for our first flight of the day. I love the airport at this time of morning because it is always so empty. heading down the jet bridge on my way to the aircraft, so I will talk to you guys later. Just got to my hotel room here in Miami, and man, I am tired. Quick little room tour. This is such a beautiful hotel room. So we have the large bed over here. As you can see, I have already began setting stuff up over here, but across from the bed, we have a large TV and a desk. And the view out the window shows some palm trees. And I know I can see the ocean in the distance over there. And this shower looks super nice as well. 
And overall, this is just a beautiful hotel bathroom. I just got off the phone with Eric. We were FaceTiming for a while, but it's 5.30 p.m. here and the sun doesn't go down for a few more hours. And you guys, I seriously feel so lucky. This is my second beach layover this month. We are walking distance from the beach. So that is what we are about to go do. All of the flights over here were super smooth. I was feeling really tired, but I was able to take a nap on my deadhead flight from Kingston to Miami. So I'm getting a second wind of energy and then hopefully it works out but tonight I'm supposed to meet up with my friend Kate she lives here when she gets off of work and we actually did college gymnastics together so it will be super nice to see her I am seriously like so giddy right now and I just want to get out of here Tan fuerte que fuimos más que amigos Bebe, perdón porque te hice mal Perdóname No se sabe lo que tienes hasta el día que tú lo pierdes Solo traguito nada más Que sobre ya no puedo ni verte I am about to head into the water and I seriously feel like the luckiest flight attendant ever this month. I have had such amazing trips getting to do exactly what I love. Visit the beach, go in the ocean, relax, listening to the waves. I just truly feel so blessed. And I also feel so blessed that I have all of you who really enjoy coming along with me on my layovers and enjoy virtually traveling with me. I just can't thank you all enough for the support and love that you guys bring my channel. It motivates me and it makes me want... <laughs> Back to what I was saying, all of the support that you guys give me on this channel seriously motivates me to fly more, to film more, to edit more, to produce more content and bring more to YouTube. So just thank you from the bottom of my heart, especially during these trying times in the aviation industry. I am just trying to soak up every little bit of the positive and the good that I can. And I really hope that I can highlight that on my channel for all of you. Look at this. The water is so blue and so pretty. It is a beautiful day out. The waves are definitely a little rougher here than they were in Fort Walton Beach, Florida. The water still feels so nice. It is not cold at all. I think I'm going to head back towards my stuff and just hang out, lay out in the sun, read, and just enjoy my time here at the beach. As all of you know, being here at the beach is like my total happy place and it's definitely one of my life goals to live near the beach one day. And I think that if slash when I ever do live near the ocean, I really want to learn how to surf. The only time that I have ever tried surfing is when Eric and I went on our cruise last summer and I did crash. It didn't go super well, but it was still really fun. And I have just been drawn to the ocean and the water ever since I was little. So I am really, really, really hoping that one day I can live near or on the beach. That would be a complete dream come true of mine. Came back to my hotel room and I just rinsed off real quick and it looks like tonight we are just gonna go with the crazy frizzy beach hair for dinner. Kate is on her way right now. She'll be here in about 20 minutes. So she's going to pick me up and then we're gonna find somewhere to go eat. Kate just picked me up. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and we're trying to find a place to park near the restaurant and then we're gonna go eat. I am starving. Kate and I, 
both got the same thing. We both got chicken tacos with pineapple diced red onions and cilantro. It looks so good and of course a side of lime and some sprites. We are walking down this really cool street in Miami. Like all of the palm trees are decorated. We just had dinner, it was super good, and now we're gonna go get rolled ice cream, which is something I've actually never had before. Good morning, Miami. It is a really cloudy day out today. I'm sorry, I didn't vlog when I got back to the hotel room last night. I was seriously so tired. As soon as I got to the room, I took a shower and I knocked out. I really needed to catch up on sleep. It's 9.02 a.m. right now and our pickup is at 9.15. I need to finish picking up my room and getting everything together so that we can be on time to the airport. We are only doing one flight today. It is from Miami back to Dallas. I am so thankful that I got this trip. I got to see a friend from college, go to the beach and have great food last night. I really can't ask for more, but I do need to quickly get my room together and get out the door. Okay, it is 9.12 a.m. I need to get all of my stuff and head on out. And I'll see you all back in Dallas. Hi, baby. What are you sniffing for? <laughs> Just got home from my trip and it was so much fun, but man, I am exhausted. Look at this beautiful, crazy girl. Hi, Miss Luna. Aren't you just, oh, hello. <laughs> I think Luna has the zoomies again now that I'm home. You got the zoom zooms? Are you just acting all crazy? Thank you everyone for watching. See you next time.